and welcome to the seventh part of my uh, Europa League review. We are not deep into it, uh, but we already had the second part. Today I'm wearing an Austria jersey, uh, just because Austria's biggest team is there. Not that I'm a fan of it, but I think it's empty. the only appropriate one here, because all the other teams, I'm not sure if I have much of a connection to them. Also, uh, not that you would know, I look a little bit weird because I have been sick the past, really sick the past two days, and yeah, uh, not that you would know because I'm pre-recording, but yeah, now I'm back on schedule, I'm trying to catch up a little bit. Well, let's get right to it. Um, the big question when I saw this now to order them in terms of seedings, who is the top team, and it made sense that it's via Real. Um, we looked at those already in the La Liga jersey review and the home jerseys, the yellow jersey would expect, maybe with a little bit of a weird <laughs> false shirt neck uh, collar I like. On the top the pinstriping gets a little bit too busy towards the bottom, that's a little bit odd. Uh, but it's not very perceptible. Um, I like that the sponsor is all in the same color as the uh, color, uh, the color, and the Homa logo. Uh, it also, you know, I think the CVF in the crest is also um, blackish. So I think it makes kind of sense. Um, but yeah, it's not the cr most exciting shirt. I'm just looking up the rating that I gave it. I think it was a seven stars, and yes, seven star it is. So we'll stay with the seven star rating for this one. This is the best Real jersey because the other two. The away jersey in pink with the same strapping, but what I don't like is is the darker red here, and there's a darker pink on the sleeve. The color is a short color, but a total mess here. I don't like this asymmetric coloring to get a little bit white in there. I know pink is very popular these days, but it is this is just one of the messiest applications. It looks a little bit like. Uh, popsicle stick in a way. Gave this two stars and the third jersey is not much better. At least I understand, you know, if you want to do a black one, all right. I actually like the color um, with the triangular inset. Also the white sponsor is okay. Um, but then it doesn't have much to do with the club's colors in the crest and why do we have red and not yellow in there. And then these red flames on the bottom, also very, very, very messy. It's a little bit more cohesive though than the away shirt and for that away, the reason I gave it only three stars. And then we're going to Rapid Wien, as I said, Austria's biggest team, but also a team that I was basically taught to hate a little bit. It's not that I really, really hate them, but among my most disliked teams, Rapid of course features high and the home jersey is a classic rapid look gotta give it to them uh, with the striping in green and white I really like that one uh, maybe it could go over the shoulders I don't necessarily like the uh, white sleeves I think this should also be striped um, but I do like how both logos the Adidas and the rapid logo are just half and half over the sleeves I think this is a nice touch the sponsor, however, in orange is an eyesore and has been for quite a while. Never really liked it that way and drops it down. Wiener Gies, of course, the big um, electricity company for the whole city of Vienna, uh, which is a big name sponsor, at least for Austria. So, yeah, uh, they also have the three stripes on the side, which is a nice touch. There's a lot to like about this shirt, even down to the collar, which has this buttoned opening. Uh, kind of a modern interpretation sponsor is the big eyesore and that's the one thing I like least about this shirt but I still would give it a f yeah I'm gonna give this seven stars the away jersey might not make much sense to outsiders but if you look at the crest you have the two laurel wreath the laurel branches and then the green and white patch and then in uh, blue with red lettering is written rapid and this have been kind of their away colors for most of the time blue and uh, red don't exactly know where it's where coming from but in that sense this is a um, pretty almost classic looking rapid away jersey they sometimes play around with a darker green or so so it's not always that way um, 
I think overall it looks all right. Um, this jersey, of course, has some big uh, memory for most of the Pete fans because that's the one where they, uh, in 1984, I think, they beat Celtic in Manchester in a replay in that jersey. And then they went on to the cup final um, that year. So therefore, the red jersey is always regarded as a classic. I like the blue applications on there. It's not a crazy uh, innovative shirt. Um, but makes a decent look. The sponsor again sticks out, but in a good way this time, and much better. If they could find a way to do this on the home shirt, would be great. Here I give this uh, six stars. And then the third jersey is the previous home jersey. That's also a thing that's happening with Rapido often that they recycle their um, home jersey for a third jersey uh, in later seasons. This, of course, is now the 2016 version. Was As a home jersey, I never thought it uh, cuts it as a, a third jersey. I think it does a good job in the green and the darker colors. Of course, there's a slight fade in there, which I never liked. There is the white in there, and then we have the side stripes. I think it's a decent one. I again don't like the orange sponsor, but every time on the green shirt they have the orange sponsor. So what can you do? Here a white one without the orange would have done quite well. Um, I think I, I go with the, like the away jersey with six stars. Then Rapid is not the biggest name team, at least currently. Maybe historically they could be, although there's one more in there. That's a more. That honor I think would belong to Spartak. Um, who used the current Nike template on a red shirt with <laughs> weird color gradient stripes here. Um, don't really like it, honestly. Uh, it's almost like Zenit. The Russian teams try to do something special and they don't achieve much with it. Um, if this was a plain red one, I could get on board with that because Spartak is red. For me, Spartak, although they haven't been recently, was always the top Russian team for some reason. Maybe because in the 90s they were so dominant, as you can see with the four stars. They were also always the team of the people, as far as I know. Uh, meaning outside of the Soviet institutions. But how? Where, where do we go with this one? I would say five stars. And because it's tone in tone, it's weird as hell, but it's not uh, all in your face. Um, so for that reason, I'm not going to be uh, downgrading it too far. But if I look at it, it's a little bit messy. From the distance, you will make it out as a red shirt. You will not see all these different the two tones of red, but it is messy. Uh, if this was in two colors uh, that uh, have more contrast, this would be a horrible shirt. But I think here, yeah, let's stay with five stars. I do like, however, the away jersey, which is such a classic look for a soccer jersey. Uh, white with a red chest band. This is Stuttgart, sometimes Turkey, Spartak. I uh, really like that one. And also that there are two ways that, that, that you can do the chest band, either to contain the elements across here, which Turkey often does, or um, to kind of make just a, a band and uh, have the sponsor there. I actually like this version quite some. Um, really, really nice looking shirt, except for the collar. This uh, false shirt neck I don't like. But other than that, this is really, really cool. I'm going to give this nine stars. Really classic, nice look. Only wish it would wrap around. And then the last team, and we have all three choices here, here together. It's really hard to get them separated. So I'm going to do this video now. All three of them is Glasgow Rangers, and I would make the case that Glasgow Rangers is probably the biggest name in this group. There are three. Uh, the, the top seed is probably the least renowned, of least renowned like, historically. The other three are quite some historic clubs. And, you know, I cannot get more, almost more historic than Glasgow Rangers. I really like their crest with the C, R, C, F, and then the five stars on top that actually are smaller. That's a, a nice touch. Uh, the home jersey is a classic blue Rangers jersey. Maybe there's a little bit too much color on there. I like the red going around. I'm not so sure about the sleeve cuffs, which are white on the inside. For me, this never may make sense if the sleeve cuffs are only on the other underside and not on the upper side. Uh, also, 
the weird thing here is the two blue tones, which is similar like Spartak, but in a way, I think his jersey looks a little bit sharper than the Spartak um, home jersey. And for that, I give the six stars. The away jersey with the sash in blue and red, I like actually quite some. This is a really nice look. Uh, I think it has the Hummel chevrons on the shoulders. So that's also a good uh, thing to have. The sponsor maybe breaks up the sash, but at least it does so in a color that fits. I like this one quite some. So I'm gonna give this eight stars and the third jersey almost looks like a goalkeeping jersey. Maybe it is the goalkeeping jersey. I just, you know, these days goalkeepers sometimes wear a third jersey or an away jersey anyway. Um, I'm gonna give, yeah, this is orange of course, which has some connections uh, historically, which I don't wanna, go, it just bothers me that um, the sectarianism around uh, the big uh, old firm uh, bothers me a little bit, so I don't want to get too much into it, but I guess that's where the orange is coming from. Uh, overall, yeah, <laughs> would be a nice Holland shirt. Not sure if it fits for Glasgow Rangers. It's not very exciting, although if I look at the collar, the collar looks decent, although it has a, well, maybe a deviation shape. But yeah, I think I'm also going to give this six stars. Well, let me know which jerseys of these you liked, which ones you disliked, whether you disagree with my assessment about who is the biggest name team in this group. As I said, there are three really big names outside of the top five leagues in there. Maybe I'm overstating Rapid Wien, but if you look at it historically, Rapid Wien is actually quite a big name. Um, they were probably one of the best teams in the 30s, 50s, and made a European Cup final as well. Again, let me know what you thought about all this. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video, my ratings and so on, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And tomorrow, I'm gonna be back with another review.